I hope you're enjoying Engineering Career TV. We're going to change it up a little bit in this episode. This is going to be the first of a four-part series that will happen over time. Maybe every four or five episodes, you'll see an episode like this. It's going to be a series of books that I use to help me maintain a low stress, high focus, and high productivity mindset in my career. Because it's easy to get stressed out in today's world. Let me be honest, there's a million different distractions and things going on. I'm going to share with you four very specific books and principles that I've used to get around this. Today's book that I'm going to be talking about is the 80-20 principle, the secret to achieving success by achieving more with less by Richard Koch. I have it right here on my bookshelf. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I talk about the 80-20 principle all of the time on our podcast. Essentially, the book is based on the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto principle or the law of the vital few. The law states that for many events, roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. This was proven by an Italian economist, Vilfredo Pareto, who was studying the wealth in the United Kingdom. And what he realized was that 20% of the people in England had 80% of the money. He studied that a few years in a row and found it to be extremely interesting. Then he looked at land ownership and he also recognized that the same ratio held true. About 20% of the people owned 80% of the land. Through equations and calculations, it ended up being proven as a theory that can be applied in every aspect of work and life. Essentially, what it boils down to is 20% of your efforts are generating 80% of your results. If you know that, which now you do, that's gold because then you can strip away a lot of the details in your career and your life and you can focus on the big wins, the things that are driving 80% of your success. What I recommend that you do is get Richard Koch's book. He has a bunch of books on this topic, but the two that I'll give you here are the 80-20 principle I mentioned to you, which is focused on your career, and we'll link to both of these below the video. And secondly, living the 80-20 way, work less, worry less, succeed more, enjoy more which applies more to your personal life. If you take the principles of the 80-20 rule and you apply them in your career and life, you'll be much less stressed and you'll have so much more success because you'll be focusing on the big things. A couple of other quick examples before we end this one. For most companies, they earn 80% of their revenue from 20% of their clients, right? So they should really focus on those 20% of their clients. I apply this personally to my wardrobe. I live in the Northeast and it gets cold in the winter, warm in the summer. I used to have to pull out all my winter clothes and put them away. In the summer, I'd have to change them again. One time I just said, you know what? I only wear 20% of my clothes 80% of the time. So I got rid of a ton of clothes. Now I never have to switch over my clothes again. I have enough for the whole year in one dresser and in my closet. Applying this can be extremely powerful in your career. And I would ask you to try to do that today. Ask yourself right now, what are the 20% of the things that I'm doing that are driving 80% of my success? I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you and I want you to take advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to the show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.